Tristan Hobbs here for the Bryant Sports Network inside the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York for NEC Basketball Social Media Day. The 2015-16 season officially tipping off here today as the Bulldog men were picked to finish third and the women picked to finish second. We'll talk with head coach Tim O'Shea, head coach Mary Burke, as well as Shane McLaughlin and Brianna Rucker. All that next. The NEC does a great job with this media day. It's run as well as any in the country, and um, it's nice. It's nice for, to bring a player down here and experience all this, and it kind of really gives you a sense of the season's right around the corner. And obviously, this is my first time here. It's you know we just got in here and started seeing everything. It's a beautiful place to have it, and uh, you know it really does kind of make it feel like the season's starting, and you're not just going back to practice, and you're, you're going to start scrimmaging and playing real games soon. We're really excited. This is a, a you know a great atmosphere, and it's a great function by the NEC, and we're just excited to be here and be a part of it. It's a great way to kind of just kick things off and, and get us really excited the next week or so to start the season. It's surreal to like be here in the 4040 Club, which I probably would have never stepped foot into without Media Day. Just to be able to have this opportunity and this chance is it's incredible. The real, uh, you know, part of this that concerns me and that the guys are excited about is actually playing games, trying to establish an identity for this year, and then hopefully in March. Um, be the team, the last one standing in this league, the team that will represent uh, the NEC in the NCAA tournament. That's the real goal and that's a long ways off. We don't put too much stock in the preseason polls. I think we've actually finished every year since I've been here at least, um, you know, higher than we were picked. But uh, it's a great honor for Danny. I think he deserves it and I think it just shows how, how much confidence everyone has in him that he can really take that next step and be a dominant player for us. To know the expectations that are on us just from last year, but to know that we can exceed those this year and go further and, like you said, play into March, play into April. It's hard to grasp, but it's very exciting. You know, on paper, it's great. I mean, you know, obviously all the hard work of the players and, and the staff and everything we put into it based on last year, but every year is different, and, you know, we have to come out ready to compete. It, it puts a bigger target on our back because there are high expectations, but, you know, as I said before, there's high expectations every year. So, we're you know, we're looking to come out and compete and to put ourselves in the position to really compete for a championship at the end of the year. That wraps up our coverage here from NEC Basketball Social Media Day inside the Barclays Center. The men's basketball team opens up their season on November 14th against defending national champion Duke, while the women open up on November 13th against Seton Hall. For the Bryant Sports Network, I'm Tristan Hobbs.